Hello, welcome back. This is part two of the last class before the final exams of spring 2023 of ECO 501 start. In part two, we are going to discuss elasticity of demand. And this discussion will start with the practice questions that we uh, distributed before. After that, if anybody has any questions or queries, I'll ad address it over there. Okay, can you see the screen? Okay, so does anybody have any problem regarding elasticity of demand? No, sir. But you don't. What about the other people? Anybody else? Uh, sir, I can recap it. Recap, I can't uh, cover it totally. Uh, if you can give me a specific point where you did not understand, then I can discuss. Is there any specific point that you uh, fail to understand? Huh? No, sir. Just uh, overall, I can recap that. I don't have problem is. Achha, overall recap. Achha, just a second. Overall recap. Achha, kora jabe. This is what I was looking for. Okay, so what we'll do. Okay, elasticity of demand is basically how demand responds to a, cha a change. That change is the uh, independent variable. So basically what we do, uh, how does demand respond to the own price? How does re demand respond to income? How does demand re respond to a related price? For example, complement or substitute. These three, we can uh, uh, quantify with uh, a very specific and well-established formula. However, if we uh, use that concept that demand uh, respond code to a change, it can be anything. It can be you know, your vision. For example, your horizontal vision, you usually respond to the middle. Your vertical vision, you also respond to the middle. So, okane demand to respond korbe. But uh, that's a behavioral pattern, right? For example, if you go to a place where uh, Pepsi is available, but Coke is not. So, even though the substitutes are very closely, uh, close substitutes, it's not available. So, how does your demand respond? What I say? This is applicable for everything, whichever we look at it. And finally, if it is responding, it's greater than one. It's positive, sorry. Okay. So uh, it's greater than one and it's positive. If it's not responding, it's less than one and a little bit more than zero. And zero and uh, infinity are two extreme cases. At a uh, straight line demand curve, we saw that at very high prices, demand is price elastic. At low prices, demand is price inelastic. So how can we use this information in developing a business model? That's it, basically. And finally, number six, Jetta. This is the important one in the sense that uh, this is both challenging, thought-wise. Shetoche, over here, we have lots of uh, uh, components. So if this comes in the final exam, you could be asked to, okay, yeah, you discuss how these two affect uh, your response to demand, how you can use uh, link them to a business example in Bangladesh. It is basically what we did in the elasticity of demand. Is there any further question regarding this? No, sir. So, uh, so shall I? Uh, I mean, I act a video take only. What should we say? Like, uh, introduction to markets. This is basically what we did in midterm, uh, midterm one A. Right now, what are the assumptions of perfect competition? This was just a prelude, uh, so that we could get into the other things. Acha. And who got out there? Monopolistic competition. Shampro ke karo kono jigesho ase kina. Sorry, sorry, different types of markets. Uh, consolidated markets, fragmented markets, relevant market. Does anybody have any queries? No? 
I'm assuming there's no queries. Can I jump to a monopolistic competition in that case? Yes, sir. Okay. Monopolistic competition, Shamburke. We can't get into the total uh, theories and etc. again. But is there any particular concept that anybody uh, has a challenge answer uh, understanding? At a particular concept. Sir, I have a problem with elasticity of demand, like question number three, that show that the price elasticity of demand. Okay, question number three. Yes. Question, oh, question number three. Oh, this one, no? Huh? Yes, sir. Very good. Acha, uh, what problem did you have in that graph? In the high price range, why is it elastic? In the low price range, why is it inelastic? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. I don't know. Like, I, it's just going, it's just bouncing above my head right now. Wait, let me get to that graph. Where is that graph? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so and now I have to stop share. Let me get to that thing. Where is it? Ah. Can you see this thing now? Yes, sir. Acha, what was the uh, uh, formula? It was uh, P by Q, Chilona, the slope into P by Q, right? Yeah. The price uh, into quantity. Huh? Mane, uh, the the formula for elasticity of demand on a straight line is the slope, which is del Q by del P times price by quantity. Yes, sir. Very good. Now you tell me, if we move from A to B, look at the price. Konta boro? P boro na Q boro? If we move from A to B, P boro na? Example, P is 10, Q is 4. So Peter Borona, if as we move from A to B? Yeah. Okay, good. Then if P is the denom uh, numerator, upare thakbe, the P by Q ratio to greater than 1 hobe na? Yes? Yes. Then it's then there is price elastic, it's responding to uh, demand. So sorry, to, uh, to the price. Look at CD now. If you PQ, P by Q ratio, you look at it again. Is uh, uh, P greater or Q greater as we move from C to D? Q is greater. Q is greater, right? Yeah. Very good. If our ratio is P by Q, if Q is greater, then P by Q ratio is less than 1, right? Yeah. Now, do you understand? So when we are operating in the high price range, in AB, P is greater than Q. So the P by Q ratio is greater than one. So it's price elastic. When we are operating the CD range, P, uh, P by Q ratio, Q is greater than the, uh, is the larger one. So P by Q is less than one. So it's price inelastic. So if you don't mind, can you give me an example? Very, like very simple example pizza. I gave this example many times in the class. Uh, for a high-end pizza shop, they will yeah. always advertise that we are going to give you a spe special deal, 10% discount. Why? Because they're operating in this 910 region, P1, P2. So they know very well in the high-end uh, pizza, uh, uh, pizza range, if they reduce the price by 10%, they expect sales to go above 10%. So their revenue increases. Kintu Rasta Ghatta Jesha Pizza Biki Kore, Jaguri dam thar se part piece choli staka ponja staka. Ogulo ki price elastic hobe? Na, ogulo to discount di bano. Response ta kore thar price inelastic. You got the logic now? Yeah. Kika se mane the example we gave in the class quite several times was the pizza joints. Tapo if you look at a ki bolle coffee shop, at a normal coffee shop. And say a, co uh, a coffee in a, a five star hotel. Ohane kinto, uh, uh, oh, dam take to come on in coffee, but tea cabe. Rasta, Rasta, uh, uh, would it be price elastic? Rasta dogan gulo? Nah. 
like though. See, now you think about other examples. Then a bhate dukan jeta, rastar pashe. Shekhane demand is not price elastic, but the same khana if you give it to in in a posh restaurant, it will be price elastic. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. Where is it? So we are coming back to monopolistic competition. Does anybody have any problem regarding monopolistic competition? Monopolistic competition, sir. Yes. Does anybody have any? Uh, Problems or queries regarding monopolistic competition. For example, how does the geographical immobility influence monopolistic competition? For example, you have uh, garments, uh, uh, lots of garment shops in uh, uh, front of Dhaka College. You have uh, lots of garment shops like this in located in various uh, uh, buckets, uh, uh, you know, pockets in Dhaka city. Akhon normally ki hoy? Dhanmundi area jara thake tarar Dhaka college itte jabe. If you live in say, uh, uh, say Mahmudpur, you'll go to uh, uh, one one of the markets locally there, right na? Thank you, Abhinav Lokjon. Hello. For example, how does geographical immobility influence monopolistically competitive markets? Now, monopolistic competitive markets gives you differentiated products. So one person's pro product is different from another person's product in your eyes. But there are so many products, so, so many sellers, and also the products are so close substitutes that nobody has any Influential market share. In the geographical immobility, you have a cast there. If there is a, 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 a garments outlet where, where they uh, sell lots of clothes in Dhanmundi, and another one is say in uh, uh, Mahmudpur. Mahmudpur and Lokjon ki khubekta Dhanmundi dashbe or vice versa? They won't. People normally don't travel. They will definitely uh, try to take uh, get the things where uh, it is easily accessible to them. So for hoy, if the population density and the income of Dhaka, uh, Dhanmundi is better, then Dhaka, opposite Dhaka College market, taase, they will have a better market share compared to a similar market in uh, uh, Mahmudpur area. Yes, sir. Okay. So, does anybody have any other questions regarding uh, monopolistic competition? So, I take it that nobody has any questions regarding monopolistic competition. So number and 25, also, if you could explain a little bit. Number 25. Okay. Uh, the uh, okay seller a's products are different from seller b that's why for whatever reason you like seller a over b the so, erokom uh, for example the shingara shops in uh, in front of your university chatta dokan ache chatta dokaner market share ki same one fourth one fourth one fourth one fourth no it, it's not the same so what happens say let, let's say one of the shops they, uh, they sell very nice shingaras, and that's why their market share is a little bit more than the other ones. Now, over time, they tried, uh, you know, they kept on de developing their product. So the more differentiated two products become, the more differently people will be looking at them. Right? Yeah. Okay. Over time, some people, some of these product uh, sellers, they make their products more uh, uh, superior to the, their competitors. So over time, what happens? Tara, a, 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 a,
যেটা যেটা মার্কেট ক্যাপচারিং পাওয়ার অনেক বেশি which is uh, which has more market attracting uh, cap capacities over time for example uh, let's let's say uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. let's say a, a birani joint there are lots of birani joints in dhaka city ha huh? but uh, 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 two or three companies make uh, have a very uh, distinct market share right? Yes. But what happens? Say Kachi Bhai or any other one, these ones are far, far superior to the uh, DRR competitors. So ultimately, can we compare Kachi Bhai's Birani with Birani in uh, in, in one of the in a some uh, you know uh, uh, unknown place in Dhaka City? We can't. So over time, what happens? Jokon multiple segments uh, multiple segments if uh, uh, one type of birani is selling at say 500 taka per uh, 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 per person the middle range they are selling at 400 the bottom range they are selling at 300 tale market ta aste aste segregated hoye jacche na based on product differentiation the person who asked me the question yes sir good now think about the mobile phone market shop shop with four to phone <laughs> One segregation is one lakh plus. Another segregation is say 75,000 to one lakh. Another segregation is say 30 to 45. Another segregation is below 30. One segregation is one product differentiation. Yes? Yes, sir. This is what the number 25 tried to say that over time, some firms become more efficient than others. Because sometimes the, the market divides into two parts. Sometimes the market might divide into several multiple parts. Because okay. and another factor that influences this is geographical location. Easily accessible. Because uh, geographical location is a big factor in, in this type of monopolistic competitive markets, not just but uh, just, if, suppose you live in Uttara, you're not going to come to Dhanmundi to buy that same thing. Yeah. So Uttara has its local monopoly uh, and if the population density and income uh, income capacity of people is better in Uttara compared to Dhanmundi, they'll have a better market share. Although they're selling the same thing. Clear? So the shampoo, same shampoo Biki goes say. So definitely people won't travel to Dhanmundi to buy the same shampoo, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So does anybody have any other questions regarding monopolistic competition? No? Monopolistic competition, I can question as a girl. Nine. Okay. Shall I move on to oligopoly? I'll move on to oligopoly, right? Yes, sir. Okay. The introduction to markets. Introduction to markets, uh, I think you joined us late. Shadoche, we, we've already covered that in midterm one. Yes. That was basically a prelude to uh, starting monopolistic competition and oligopoly. Okay. But okay. Okay. relevant markets, fragmented markets, tapoche, uh, concentrated, market. concentrated markets, consolidated markets. We just gave them as definitions. So that, that could pop up. Okay. So can we, shall we move on to uh, oligopoly? Yes, huh? Okay, the oligopoly is move on, put the high, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Yes, huh. Okay, so now let's can we get the oligopoly one out. 
Okay, can you see? Introduction to oligopoly. Yes, sir. Very good. Does anybody have any specific questions or queries regarding oligopoly? Does anybody have any specific questions or problems regarding yeah. oligopoly? Uh, yes, so somebody said theory, yes. Yes, game theory concept. No, no, I can't uh, cover them from beginning. Which like that number six question. Acha, it okay. yes. Let me get the slide out then. Wait. Stop share for it. Slide away for it. The first number two, then six. First number two. Yes, sir. Uh, what was number two? Oh, okay. So the emergence of a monopoly, that uh, water economic monopoly cycle. Monopoly should be an oligopoly. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but, but, but spelling mistake for Sitara. Wait, where are we? Ah. The fire is yellow. Ah. Okay, let me see. Second. Here. Oh, okay. Here it is. It, it, it's an oligopoly hobby. Acha. What you need to answer is oligopoly is defined as a market that has few firms, right? It is our oligopoly definition, right? Yes. Acha. Tale, now you ask the question. What factors will determine few firms? One could be population uh, density. In your neighborhood, uh, uh, if there is uh, not too many uh, uh, families living, maximum there will be two uh, grocery shops, right? If you are living in Japan City Garden, there will be many grocery shops. China? Okay, maybe. I don't know. Now, if you're living in Japan City Garden, which is probably the most densely populated huh, urban establishment in Dhaka City, grocery shops But if you're living in a normal uh, neighborhood in uh, Dhaka City, say the way that, that has 150 or 200 families, uh, but maximum grocery shop. So population density uh, in a geographical location could be an argument why few firms will uh, emerge only. They can already just do the market. If the, these two markets are supplying to say 80% of the total population, now you can easily enter the market, but in order to sustain, you you, you need at least 30% uh, of the market share. So will you enter the market? 20% of the market share is free, but to set up a, a, a shop there and to sustain, you need 30% of the total demand. So will you enter the market? You won't. So what happens? Ultimately, the market remains a duopoly. Clear? So why will I not? Why will you? That means you didn't uh, attend the class properly. Like if total demand is 100. Hoy. If two okay. farms are supplying 80% of the uh, uh, market, then the gap is 20%? Yes. Now, I can wake up tomorrow morning and decide to set up a grocery shop. So I set up the grocery shop. The grocery shop sell color operating cost. Yes. Now, 20% of the market share is not going to cover my operating cost. I need 30% of the market share. So in that case, will I enter this market now? No. So ultimately, that neighborhood uh, grocery shop market, we do the dogani thakbe. Tinda tinda thakte baare na. Although anybody can go uh, wake up tomorrow morning and start a, a, a grocery shop. So even if they do, after some time they find out, you know, I need thirty percent of the market share to run my shop, but I'm getting only twenty. After some time, 
टेलिकम इंडस्ट्री so over time only three farms or four farms will can successfully operate ঠিক আছে so that's how a oligopoly market is born ever clear yes sir clear acha ekhon your next question was number 6 na how is the concept of okay lovely tell me to me get a bit for you बेस्ट रेसपन्स रईट The person who asked me the question. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, lovely. Best response. Forget the concept. If I can make a response, what is the clever thing to do? Make the response with best response, better response, or good response. Konta konta kordo. Best, right? Na? Best, of course. Good. If I'm not using my best response, that means I'm not doing the. Uh, I'm not optimizing my uh, situation, right? Yes. Good. So, I can now see. So, now A J. This is player A. He is row one, row two. Can I write this? Huh? Player B. He is column one, column two. So, if we want to look at the best response of A, when we say response, response is something that happens after something, right? Yeah, reaction. Reaction. Okay. So, if Player B decides to stay in column one. What will player A do? If he charges high price, he gets five. If he charges a low price, he gets six. So let our best response counter. Six. Okay. Yeah. So this is his best response. Okay. If this player is uh, operating on column two, so let high price deliver over by one. Low price is also over by three. The low best response counter. Is it not? Yes, three. Good. Now, now, our calendar change story. Okay. Now, now, the player B to his up story. Player B his up over player A onu jai. So, player A decides to play in row one. So, the player one, ah, uh, eta charge kulle eta pabe. Our low price charge kulle six pabe. So, shake counter. Best response to the low price na? Yes. Okay. नाइना আচ্ছা একই ভাবে ইফ উই লক দা গেম ইন দিস সেল হু ইজ হ্যাপি প্লেয়ার 1 অর প্লেয়ার 2 প্লেয়ার 1 তো প্লেয়ার 2 ইজ নট হ্যাপি সো প্লেয়ার 2 উইল সে দ্যাট আই ওয়ান্ট টু চেঞ্জ মাই ডিসিশন তো দিস ক্যান নট বি এন ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম এটাও এক ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম হবে না বোথ অফ देम ওয়ান্ট টু চেঞ্জ देयर ডিসিশন বাট এটা ইজন্ট দিস এন ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম প্লেয়ার 1 ইজ হ্যাপি গিভেন হোয়াট প্লেয়ার 2 ইজ ডুইং Player yes. two is happy given what player one is doing. So like, will will either one of them want to change? No, nobody will want to change. Like, this is our Nash equilibrium. Did I say? Yes, sir. The problem was that it a barbar dekhano udesho ta hote hai. Je ekhane this was a much better situation for both of them. Taina ekhane ta three din pache. the total uh, is 6 if they could move over here 
the total would have been 10 tara dui jon upokrito hoto na so why can't they go there they can't go there because we said that we are selling an homogeneous good so if you are the buyer you see seller a and seller b selling the identical goods so je kono ekjon jodi tar price ta komai felte pare you will not buy from the other person thik ache so both of the sellers know that if they can successfully undercharge they will ki bole they will monopolize the market now if we play the game only once tale before we start if we make a gentleman's handshake okay let's both of us charge high price then uh, nobody can do anything to us but i have no incentive to cooperate with you because we are playing the game the first and the last round any reward or punishment is a, a function of the future if the future does not exist there is no point in uh, you know uh, uh, these ki uh, bole uh, these punishments and rewards tai na so i'll have a tendency to underprice you you will have a tendency to underprice me to amra dui jon jodi underprice kori ultimately jinish tar dam kom kom thakbe and we end up you know making three profit getting into a bad equilibrium thik ache okay so so the thing is the only way out is if we can play the game more than once thik ache tale lab ta ki tale lab ta hocche if you don't cooperate with me this time i can punish you next in in a future round if you cooperate with me this time i can reward you in a future round and you can do the same thing in real life farms do not play a pricing game once they play it over time so jeta hoy ekjon arejoner behavior ta observe korte pare thik ache so ultimately ki hoy people uh, price matching hoy price signaling hoy ar ki ki ar ki ki jono chilo let me see what else was there let me okay kana acha the person who asked me the question ekhane ache eta to na aya eta ba ki korcha फार्म ए कैन learn from the behavior of farm b and vice versa so kono karone jodi farm a ekta jinish price aste aste barte thake so ki korbe farm b kintu dekhbe je eta jodi sustain kore tar pokkhe barano to easy so he will also increase over time sometimes they they don't price signal but jeta hoy ki ami farm a will signal uh, uh, disclose the price of its products on its website or social media from their farm we can uh, get, get a signal je ei jinish er dam ekhon eto to beshi tole amra ekto barai dei ei je broiler murgir dam bere jacchilo na ha ei ki recently ekta broiler murgir dam je bere geche eta ekta eta big issue chilo na before and after it or during ramzan did uh, did, did anybody notice the price of broiler chicken went up uh, uh, absurdly from 200 to 300 taka ji sir acha to ekhon ei broiler murgi jara bikri korche tara kintu syndicate kore je korche ta na ekjon broiler murgi barai dicche demand o ache to pashe jom ki dekhche she ki boshe thakbe tar orbo dame sheo barabe na karon eta take to agami kalo bikri korte hobe the logic of what they say if the future exists ultimately people observe others and even if they don't have a formal contract to cooperate they uh, they they uh, cooperate in, uh, informally or indirectly got it now 
কেন আই মুভ অন টু দা লাস্ট পার্ট লাস্ট পার্টে মুভ অন করতে পারবো হ্যাঁ আচ্ছা লাস্ট পার্টে মুভ অন করলে এটা তো না this thing i'm going to uh, circulate in uh, in the google classrooms thik ache plus in the uh, facebook group ei jinish ta i would uh, kindly request all of you to look very carefully acha many of you what you have done is when i said link theory with an example oneke kintu ekadhik examples diyeche tai na ei kaaj theke oneke koreche tai to क्वेश्चनिंग क्योंकि क्लियरलि लेखा छो लिंक थिरी उथ एन एक्साम्पल नट उथ माल्टिपल एक्साम्पल सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज रिटर्न ओके लिंक द थिरी उथ टू एक्साम्पल्स रेलिवेंट टू बांगलेश तक दें इन दैट केस यू डू माल्टिपल अदारवैज जो ना लेखा थे एक एक्साम्पल दिए लिंक करार कथा ना डू अंडारस्टैंड वट एम ट्राइंग टू से তো এখন যেটা হচ্ছে আনলে এটা যদি বলা থাকে যে ইউ লিংক ইট উইথ টু एग्जांपल्स দেন ইউ সে ওকে আই দিস ইজ দা থিওরি আই ওয়ান্ট টু এস্টাবলিশ এন্ড দেন আই রিলেটেড টু টু एग्जांपल्स एग्जांपल 1 एग्जांपल 2 শেষ अदरवाइज এই যে এখানে লেখা আছে প্লিজ রিড আ क्वेश्चन মেনি অফ ইউ হ্যাভেন্ট ডান দ্যাট হোয়েন ইট সেজ লিংক থিওরি উইথ আ রেলেভেন্ট एग्जांपल ইট ডাজ নট মিন ইউ উইল ইলাস্ট্রেট মাল্টিপল एग्जांपल्स ইট मींस ইউ ডিসকাস দা থিওরি দেন লিংক দ্যাট থিওরি টু আ সিঙ্গেল एग्जांपल রেলেভেন্ট টু বাংলাদেশ unless it is stated to link with two examples etc and the uh, your theoretical discussion and your example should be interconnected with each other acha number 2 during the mid term onek ache na dui ta question er majhane gap rakhe na hm ei obhash theke onek er ache kintu khyal korche lokjon এখন ঘটনা হচ্ছে আই এম নট টকিং অ্যাবাউট মাই সেলফ আই এম টকিং অ্যাবাউট এক্সামিনার্স ইন জেনারেল আমরা যখন খাতা দেখি আমাদেরকে কিন্তু দুইটি দিন বা তিনটা দিনে বেশি সময় দেয় না ইউ আর ইউ ওয়েয়ার অফ দিস যে আজকে পরীক্ষা শেষ হলে আমরা ওয়ে আর ওয়ে আর এক্সপেক্টেড টু সাবমিট एवरीथिंग বাই উইদিন সে 72 ম্যাক্সিমাম 96 আওয়ার্স তাই না সো আমরা যখন খাতা দেখি if you do don't leave space between two questions it could be very uh, much possible that we can, we can make a mistake and we are also human beings so the safest bet is start a new question from a new page ঠিক আছে মানে লজিকটা বলতে this is not applicable for this course this is applicable for all the courses ঠিক আছে if you start from a new page তাহলে whoever the examiner is উনি দেখেই বলতে পারবেন যে ওকে this is a new question so i uh, uh, i mark new, uh, uh, from the beginning are it okay please mark question numbers clearly one get a kore na or if you are using uh, graphs and tables uh, label them properly thik ache okay does anybody have any other questions that we need to address a question ache karo no sir acha so in that case can we uh, can i stop it here so can i ask you one last question oh yeah sure sir question number 10 prisoners dilemma oh prisoners uh, dilemma te to amra bolchilam আমরা 
a pair of matrix may yeah, be given. Yeah, yeah. She wrote here, we showed the pair, prisoner's dilemma with this particular pair of matrix, right? Jekane, yes, it right. Be chai, bottom right corner and the pair of 3-3. Yes. Yes. I mean, 3-3 now hote pare. It could be 4-4. Four, four. Yes. It could be 1-1. One, one. But the thing is, it's a bad equilibrium. Yes. And you're so, captivated. Uh, so that's why uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the question might ask you that establish why the prisoner's dilemma is a bad equilibrium. Okay, sir. So, matrix at a at the end. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So, does uh, do, do you have any further questions after number ten? No, sir. Okay. So, if anybody has any queries uh, after uh, today, no problem. Send me a, a text in WhatsApp. If I can do it by text, great. Another, I'll call you. And by tomorrow, hopefully, uh, I uh, class performance before the final. So, and uh, I'll get... I will Sir, assignment three year grade. Ta. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Your, uh, your, your name is wait. You know? Your Tasmia name is Tasmia Zaman. Oh, oh, Tasmia Zaman. I have yes. section one, na? Ji, sir. Yeah. You do one thing. I'm okay. Uh, Facebook Messenger. You uh, drop me a message. I mean, I'll let you know in a while. Ji, sir. Okay. Do that? Okay. And uh, does anybody have any other question? Okay, then I'm going to share this with you. I mean, I'm going to upload this with you. Or if you have any further queries, don't worry, just send me a WhatsApp text. And all the best and make sure you're not late on the exam day. Okay, then good luck and uh, in person, but uh, all the best for the re remainder of the semester and your uh, personal life. Okay, bye, Tele, huh? Okay, so thank, thank you.